Hello and welcome. Welcome back to another video. I'm Trip. Do you have a first gen or second gen Honda Fit? Do you want to remove the front sway ball? Oh, this video I'm going to show you how to do it. The easy-ish way? Not exactly the right way, but a little bit easier. It might involve one of these guys. So in order to do it by the book, the correct way, you gotta lower the the lower subframe, which is a lot of work and not fun, and nobody has time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna chop it in two pieces and snake it out. Since I don't use my front sway ball, a lot of the guys who track these cars don't run one. They have them disconnected. Mine have been disconnected, but I wanna. Go ahead and remove it completely. That's this extra weight I don't need. Of course, the first thing you want to do is take your wheels off and get access to your your sway bar links, which are going to be here. I have aftermarket coilables, so it looks a little bit different. But your sway bar links should connect here, so disconnect it from top and bottom on both sides. You are going to need an Allen wrench to hold it tight, and I believe it's a 12 mil nut to break those loose on both sides. Like always, it's never fun recording underneath the car because it's hard to see and it's all cramped. But this is your front sway ball. It's right underneath your exhaust coming from the back of your pedal to your cat. Since you're right above the cat, I mean underneath the cat, you just want to find a spot to get a blade and chop that guy up. I have a few different cutting utensils that I'm going to try to see what works now i'll let you know what i did so i started off using the cutting wheel and it did, does a pretty good job you just have to be careful not to cut the things all around it easier to get the sawzall in though but it was kind of taking forever so i just took the guard off the cut wheel and used it but it's definitely not as safe so if you do this make sure you're wearing gloves and eye protection Okay, we got that side chopped, but we're not done. You gotta undo the mounts with mounts to the subframe. See that 12 mil middle? Already busted it loose. This side's not so bad. The other side's probably gonna get a little harder. It's a little bit tighter of a place. If you can see it in there. So yeah, so I'm gonna work on those right now. Take those bolts out. Okay, the driver's side is similar. It's either, easier to get to the forward side, through the wheel well. It is still awkward. You still have to do this little reach around thing to get to it, but just slowly remove that 12. Okay, got my two 12 mils out. Let's see if I can fish this guy out. Maybe. Hey, you're free. Okay, that's one side. The other side's probably gonna be a little harder. Longer. Let's find out. Hey, well, that was fun. When I said it was easy, I meant easy or. It's easier than dropping the subframe. Uh, for the most part, it's not bad if you don't mind cutting stuff. The only annoying part is the actual getting to the two 12s. The two front ones can be take a while. You just have to be patient with it. You can't get it. But yeah, I got it out. Didn't take me too terribly long. I do think a sawzall with a, a lot better blade than I have would probably have done a better job. So I think this blade has, has seen a few things, so, so yeah, get a good blade and do it this way. You don't want sparks and stuff in your face. Of course, only do this if you don't plan on, the, on replacing the sway ball. If you're printing a new one back in or going back to stock, of course, you are gonna have to drop the frame to put the aftermarket one or, or, to, or to take it back to stock. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is track call and so yeah, so I don't care. So I got trapped. But that is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe for other fit content. I have a ton of fit stuff on my channel. So yeah, check out some of those videos and 
come back for next time. Peace.